All right, so you have a lot of options to choose from. I have male, I have female, I have curvy, I have skinny. So pick whatever one you like, uh, whatever looks the best that you want to design with and go with that. So I picked this one. You're going to flip it over and you're going to actually just kind of scribble all over the back with your graphite pencil. So this, some of them already have it done. Um, if that's the case, you're lucky. Uh, I would just add a little refresher coat and then you're going to place it on your paper. Um, and I use these little uh, paper clips to hold it in place so that it doesn't move as I'm doing this. You're not going to trace around the outside of your image using a nice sharp pencil. You can use pen, but use the pencil because we already do pencils. Okay. And you see that it's transferring that mark onto my paper for me. So I'm just going to go around my whole body and I'm just going to trace uh, all of the, the lines um, that I want. And you'll see I can check the back often, make sure I have everything. I also did the back side, the other side of her, but you don't have to. You only have to do a front. If you have a really cool design on the back, though, I would do something cool on the back, too. So it looks like this. All right. And now I'm ready to start sketching. So your idea needs to come from your mood board. So refer back to your mood board for your inspiration of what it should look like. If you remember, mine is very cowboy themed. So I'm going to start by just doing a cowboy hat because um, I know she needs that. <laughs> and I'm just going to start drawing in some pants. I wanted to do a really cool, fun pants. So I've got some fun lines going on. I'm just having fun. I'm just being creative, right? And I'm just going to do a pretty basic t-shirt. I wanted to have some kind of design on it, but then I changed my mind and I erase it later. You also need to erase all of your parts of the body that aren't shown. That is being graded that you do that. Okay. So if you make a dress and you can't see their crotch, you need to make sure you erase the crotch seam. Okay. Um, it does need to be colored as well, so I'm going to go through and color it. It looks really nice, though, if first you go over it with black pen. So I changed my mind here. <laughs> Obviously, it's a very organic process. Um, so it doesn't need to be colored. You need to erase all the parts of the body that aren't being seen. It needs to show high-quality work. You should be done with this in a couple of minutes. I need to see that you actually put in some effort here. So um, put some pen here. Again, I can tell if you put an effort because you'll have the pen markings. You'll have thoughtful color choices. It won't just be thrown together. Another important detail is that clothes don't always fit really, really tight to your body. I mean, swimsuits do and leggings do. But most clothes don't fit skin tight. So make sure you give yourself a little bit of room, right, um, when, you're, when you're drawing. You notice I'm blending the pencil colors. So I do two pencil colors on top of each other to get the color I like. Um, I'm erasing parts, erasing the pencil mark so that I don't have the pencil mark. I'm um, coloring in my hat. I decided to do a skin color as well. So, and my boots... There, and that's my finished product. It looks like that. So write your name in the bottom right corner. It needs to be there. I don't want to look for your name. Okay, so write it there. And then your class period. So what class period you're in. And there you go. There's your completed croquis.